Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be starting a new series on how to build a 4-bit computer in, uh, in Minecraft using Redstone. Uh, in this video I'm just going to do a brief introduction on how a computer or CPU works. And I'm going to be showing you the, uh, the individual parts which make up the computer. So, to begin with, um, okay, I'll start with the inputs. So then, if you uh, you'll have input register A and uh, input register B. Your user input will feed into both of these. So for the moment I'll uh, put my user input here. So this will be a UI or your user input. This will be like the number panel and where you can choose the operation codes for the ALU. So once you've chosen a number, it will go into the input register A and input register B and you can save it to either of those. Once this has happened, basically these are just D flip flops. Once this has happened, uh, this will link now. Well, this will now go into the ALU. Uh, in the ALU, I think I'm going to have 11 functions. Um, I'll go over those in more detail when I begin building it. Uh, but this basically performs all the mathematics of the um, for the computer. Now, the output for the ALU will go two places. It will feed, uh, feed back into the input registers. So say if you did 4 at 8 equals 12. Any, uh, that would be uh, calculated here. If you want to do something else with that 12, you'd feed it back into the input register, and then you could add or do something else with it in here. Uh, and the other place which will, which it will go will be to the uh, to the RAM. Um, haven't fully finalised how much RAM I'm going to have yet. I probably only have maybe. 8 bytes, that's probably uh, sufficient for a 4 bit or 8 bit computer. And now the RAM will also go two places. Like the ALU, it'll go back into the uh, back into the input registers. Uh, notice I've only uh, linked it up to the input register A, but it will go to both of them. And same with the RAM, that'll go to both input registers. And uh, so um, the other place which the RAM will go will be to my GPU, which is basically a glorified display unit <laughs> or graphical processing unit. <laughs> but um, uh, the GPU will be like the final stop for our uh, for our calculations or our computer. Once it goes to the GPU, that's where it will be displayed, and uh, nothing else will happen with that. So that's basically, uh, and uh, obviously we'll have um, down here somewhere probably, we'll have our program memory. Um, the program memory is um, is how the, uh, is um, quite hard to display. It's, it will uh, take all of the commands from each of the separate uh, each of the separate parts of the CPU so the input registers, the LU, the RAM, the GPU and then it will um, okay so say if you had I'll do a demonstration say if these were three functions or commands the program memory would be uh, lines of Writable, uh, yeah, writable lines of ROM. Uh, so readable lines of ROM, where you could uh, choose what you want to do. So on the first line of the program memory, you could say, okay, um, that would do one thing. Then the next line, you could say, uh, I don't want to do anything. In the third line, you could do two things like that. And these would then lead off to. Uh, sorry about the rain. 
will lead off into the different functions. So that's basically how the program memory will work. And linking into the program memory, you'll have your clock. What the clock does is it cycles through each line of program memory. So we'll start here and then say if it was a five tick clock, it'd go wait on five ticks and then five ticks on here, five ticks on here. And that's how that will work. Um, I'm probably not going to include any branching in this computer as that's quite advanced and probably not needed. Um, so yeah, that's the basic design of a computer. Um, thanks for watching. Please like, rate and subscribe and keep a look out for the next video.